Welcome to Khalil the Builder, the only channel where we build things that may or may not try to take over the world. Just kidding, or am I? Today we are going to be creating our very own robot from scratch and bringing it to life with some fancy rigging and animation also the VFX in Blender. So grab your hard hats and welding goggles because we are about to dive into some serious robot building business. And remember, if anyone asks, we are just building a harmless little robot friend. Definitely not a potential world dominator. Okay. Okay, let's start with creating a new collection and rename it as robot dragon move this cube into this collection and disable this collection press one from the number pad grab it up scale it down on the z-axis shift d to duplicate this and scale it up like this select both of them and scale it down on the y-axis press shift a add a cylinder click on this panel and reduce the vertices to 10 press slash tab and 3 for the face selection and select this face press x and delete this face press 2 and select this edge loop control f and grid fill now select the whole cylinder press r and rotate it like this now select this middle edge loop press control b and create something like this press 3 for the face Selection and select these three faces. Press I and insert it like this. Now press E and extrude it down like this. I'm gonna click on this modify properties, add modifier, and bevel modifier. Increase the segments to two. Okay, let me disable the overlays and let's see. Okay, let me decrease the amount of bevel like this. Okay, now enable the overlays. Press slash to get everything back. Now rotate it on the x axis 90 degrees. Scale it down and grab it here. Scale it down one more time. And I just want to place it like here. Now press Shift D and duplicate this here here and here reposition it if you want okay now we need four more press one for the front view and duplicate it again four more times like this now select these four and press g and grab them on the y-axis and now i'm going to select all of them and press shift d grab it back on the y-axis press one for the top view and grab it like this okay press g again and grab it outside like this and now press r z at 180 degrees grab it back like this and i think it's looking great enable the overlays again and i think that we should also add these screws to the sides so duplicate this rotate this and press one for the top view grab it here press ctrl 3 for the side view select these grab it on the right side and select these and grab it on the left side okay now select all of them one by one and we will adjust it like okay press one for the top view press g x and adjust it if you want now i'm going to select these four and grab them back like this okay now select all of these because we have to duplicate all of them press shift d r 180 degrees press one for the top view press g x and grab it like this okay now we have to do some adjustments in the box press one from the number pad select this box hold z go to the wireframe mode select these lower edges and scale them down also select these screws in the object mode press tab and select again in the edit mode and grab them up hold z go to the solid mode okay now we got some work here we have to replace these screws okay now by selecting these ones i'm going to grab them on the x-axis like this i can select these two screws rotate them on the y-axis like this press one from the number pad grab it rotate it until you feel it's done we're going to do the same thing for the other side select these press one from the number pad grab rotate we're getting problem while we are rotating it so right click and set origin origin to geometry now we're not gonna get any problem while rotating our object. Now do the same thing for the other screws. Right click, set origin, origin to geometry and grab them on their right places. Now we're gonna add some geometry to our robot's head. Select the head, press tab, press control R, add a loop cut here. Now press control B and create something like this. Press three for the face selection, select this face and grab it on the Z axis a bit up. Now select these three faces, press I to insert and E to extrude and extrude it slightly backwards. Now from the modifiers properties, add modifier and add a bevel modifier again for this object. Increase the segment and also decrease the amount like this. Now by holding shift select this box and again select the head to make the head active click on this drop down button and copy to select head. Now our body has the same modifier as head. Now just select the head. Now I have to select the downward faces. Okay firstly press one from the number pad. Hold Z select the wireframe mode and select these faces. Scale them down on the x-axis. Okay now we need to adjust these screws again. Hold Z and go to the solid mode. We are in the object mode and now select these two screws and grab them on the x-axis not on the y-axis. Press one from the number pad for the better view. Now rotate it grab it do it whatever you want but i need it fixed okay do the same thing for the other side grab it first and then rotate it nothing hard or confusing now for these we don't need to rotate it just grab it grab it inside okay you can also scale it down like 0.7 okay we have to scale it on the y-axis after doing this and same for this scale it down 0.7 
and scale it up on the y axis you can also scale it down one by one just press s 0.7 and just <laughs> nothing too much do the same thing for for the screws now press shift a and add a cube press g and grab it here scale it down on the z axis a bit on the x axis and also on the y axis grab it here press 3 from the number pad and now grab it a bit outside like this okay now press tab for the edit mode z and go to the wireframe mode select the lower edges and scale them down just a bit not too much hold z go again in the solid mode press 3 for the face selection and select this face press i to insert but there's a problem in the object mode press ctrl a and click on all transforms now press tab and i to insert now everything is good press e to extrude and extrude it a bit inside and grab the whole object a bit outside in the object mode now select the body and select this one so you have to select the body at last click on this drop down menu copy to select it and now the bevel modifier is copied to this new object press one from the number pad shift a and add another cube grab it up scale it down now grab it on the left side and move it on the y-axis like this press three from the number pad and scale it down on the y-axis grab it like this press one and scale it on the x-axis and also scale it down grab it on the x-axis and also move it slightly forward okay shift select the body copy to select it from the modifier properties if you are not in there select this object press one from the number pad press shift d to duplicate this object grab it on the x-axis and scale it down on the x-axis click on this add modifier and add an array modifier let me increase okay we are in the bevel section here is the array one okay now i'm increasing the count and also i'm going to change the x factor to the negative direction and i'm also decreasing the count to three and i would also like to decrease the distance between them and now everything is looking good for me yeah okay now i'm going to select these two screws because they are not rotated why why are they not rotated okay I'm also going to rotate these two screws and also grab it a bit inside. Okay. <sighs> now select the body, press tab and select this face. Press shift S and cursor to select it. Press shift A from the object mode and add a cylinder. Reduce the vertices to 16. Scale it down on the Z axis. Change the snapping tool to the edge. Now grab the cylinder and take your mouse to this edge and press control and left click scale it down and again grab it down to the edge press tab for the edit mode and now select these faces give the gap of four faces in between and here two faces in between now press alt e and extrude along normals after extruding them press 2 for the edge selection mode and select these four edges and grab them down now press 3 for the face selection mode select this face shift s and cursor to select it press tab for the object mode select this extrude shift d shift s selection to cursor now rotate it on the x axis grab it down press 1 for the front view press r to rotate it press from the number pad and also rotate it on the y-axis and also a bit on the x-axis okay i think one more time on the x-axis and also a bit on the y press 3 and rotate it from here a bit and i think it looks great we have to duplicate this screw three more times okay now select this object press tab and select this face shift s cursor to select it tab out select this screw shift d shift s selection to cursor press g grab it down rotate it on the z axis 180 degrees press 3 hold z go to wireframe mode and rotate it go to the solid mode again and we are done here for this one <laughs> select both of the screws shift d and grab them here on the y axis rotate it on the z axis 180 degrees and no rotation work here Okay, now select this one again. Press tab, select this face, shift S, and cursor to select it. Press tab, and in the object mode, we are going to add a cylinder. Scale it down, press one from the number pad, scale it up a bit, grab it up, scale it up on the z axis, grab it up one more time. Now press shift D and duplicate it, grab it here, scale it down, scale it up on the z axis, and grab it here. Okay, grab it on the x axis and place it here. You can duplicate this and you can also add a mirror modifier. Click on this eyedropper and select this object. I think we should scale it up on the z axis a bit. Now from here, press Ctrl A to apply the modifier. Select the cylinder, shift it duplicate, rotate it 180 degrees and scale it down, scale it up on the x-axis. Now I'm scaling up these cylinders on the z-axis. And also I grab them up. Now press Shift A and add a cube, scale it down. Press 1 for the front view and grab it here, rotate it. Press S and X twice and scale it down on the x-axis. Now press S and Z twice and scale it up on its z-axis. Scale it down on the y-axis. Select this face in edit mode and scale it down on the y-axis and also on the x-axis. Okay. 
now select this face press e and z twice and extrude it down and also scale it down on the y-axis okay now press tab shift a and add a cylinder rotate it on the y-axis 180 degrees scale it down on the x-axis move it here scale it down rotate it and grab it here rotate it while holding shift for the smoother rotation scale it down a bit press tab and insert this face and also extrude it inside a bit okay add another cylinder from the object mode rotate it 180 degrees scale it down scale it up on the x-axis scale the whole cylinder a bit scale it down on the x-axis rotate it and grab it almost here okay now after selecting this i'm going to select the head and copy to select it and i think i should increase the bevel amount a bit okay now i'm gonna select the these three parts of the ear and add modifier and mirror modifier click on this eyedropper and select the head okay just one object was mirrored so we are going to this drop down menu and copy to select it everything is fixed now uh i think the ears are just a bit outside okay now i'm going to apply the mirror modifier by pressing ctrl a now select this long antenna press ctrl a and lastly select this one and ctrl a okay now i'm going to select this head and press tab select the middle face shift s cursor to select it press tab again shift a and add a cube scale it down scale it down on the z axis grab it here rotate it scale it down if you need one more time okay i need the mirror modifier select the eyedropper and select the head i need to scale it down on the y-axis and now shift select the head and copy the modifier okay i think we need to adjust the amount of the bevel i have just increased it to about one grab it a bit inside and now apply the mirror modifier deselect all the things okay now i'm going to select the body press tab select this face and scale it down on the y-axis press tab select these screws and grab it inside rotate it okay right click set origin origin to geometry now we can rotate it perfectly and grab it inside Sides. Now select the other size of screws, set origin to geometry, grab it, rotate it. Okay, now select these screws, right click, set origin, origin to geometry, grab it inside. And for here, I'm going to select this, this one, this one, this one, and grab them inside at once. Now this is the time for some rotation work, select these tools and rotate it and grab it until it fits perfectly. And do the same thing for this screen. Okay, right click, set the origin, origin to geometry, and now we can rotate it easily. I think the upper screws also need some rotation. Select these tools and rotate them a bit okay let me see if any screw not have been treated okay these two screws and press three from the number pad rotate it grab it do whatever you want but fix it okay okay now select this box press tab ctrl r add a loop cut press ctrl b now select this face and grab it up press one for the front view and now i have to select the body and the objects on it the upper screws are also selected so let me do it once again now press g and grab them down on the z axis okay now by selecting just the box press tab select this edge shift s and cursor to select press tab go to in object mode deselect all the things and add a torus reduce the major segments to 32 rotate on the y axis 90 degrees scale it down and also scale it up on the x axis okay now press shift s cursor to select it deselect this object shift a and add a cylinder what is this should be 8 now rotate the cylinder on the y axis 90 degrees and scale it down press number 3 and scale it up a bit press slash press ctrl r in edit mode and add a loop cut here select this face and delete the vertices by the way it could be done by just deleting the face without adding any loop cut but why why would you do that why would you do any of that sorry okay let me show you why i did it this is a new project file firstly i read this shift a add a cylinder let me reduce the vertices to 8 rotate it on the y axis 90 degrees or you can rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees scale it down on the y-axis first great shift d on the y-axis so both of them have for the first one i'm going to add a loop cut here as same as we did before press 3 and delete these vertices okay delete all these vertices for the second one we are not going to add a loop cut but delete this face just the face okay tab out where are you the mirror modifier the mirror modifier okay i have added the mirror modifier okay uh on the axis of z okay z click on this and copy to select it you'll notice there's no difference but but there's difference there there are some differences let me show you press tab this object is created where it ends where, where, where the line where the line is this object is started from this point okay the second object is overlapping like the first one ends here and the second one starts here and ends here let me show you first select this one tab z and y frame mode okay select all of these press g and y see this is basically overlapping we can also fix this like uh, click on this clip pin and grab it again and like this okay select just this, this face okay g y we fix this this is not overlapping 
you can do it on in, in the in both ways now let me close it don't say okay, okay back to the topic click on add modifier mirror modifier okay nothing happened don't worry select the axis z and turn on the clipping press slash select this face and insert it and now select these four faces press i to insert and extrude them inside and now select this face insert it and extrude select this face loop and grab them outside a bit add a loop cut and grab it outside of it okay we need another loop cut here press tab and control 2 scale this loop a bit down okay now press control r again and we need one other loop cut here and one here press tab and scale it up a bit i think a bit more okay it looks it looks great nice okay now select this tab press tab and select these loop faces okay after doing that press shift d and press p and click on selection now select the duplicated part press slash and select these faces and delete them and also these ones okay okay don't select like this press ctrl z and select these faces in wireframe mode okay like this great now we can delete it okay now press slash again scale it up a bit okay now i have to select the edges of uh, this object's edge so firstly press 2 because we have to select the edges now hold alt and select these edges extrude them like this and now press alt s and scale it like this press a and grab it on the right side no on the left side okay now turn on the proportional editing tool and grab this point on the right side a bit and also push it inside a bit and from the back side select this point grab it on the left side right left okay left side sometimes i get confused in right or left so click on the add modifier button and we need solidify modifier and increase the thickness a bit click on this even thickness press ctrl 2 for the subdivision modifier okay grab it on the left side a bit okay press tab to get in to edit mode again select this point and drag it on the left side okay just trying to fix this by moving the points turn on the overlays if you also have turned it off now select the tires press slash tab and select these uh, loop faces i think i said tires it's just a single tire click on the select button and deselect checkers uh, we are clicking on select button to deselect things okay okay now press i to insert all to extrude and scale it down a bit and now we need subdivision surface modifier press ctrl 2 right click and shade smooth press slash okay now we need another wheel for the other side so select these three things but before this we can also apply this mirror modifier that we have added for the rim now select these three uh, objects and add the mirror modifier select this box as a target object and change the axis to x again okay now click on this drop down option and copy to select it okay now i think i have we have to adjust the size and the location of this wheel let me disable the overlays to see it clearly i think i think we have okay just repeat okay okay now everything is good okay now i'm going to apply all the mirror modifiers and before doing this you have to check that your every object is in their positions if you have to fix the position of your one wheel then you also have to fix the another ones also i can select all the objects of the of your robot and press ctrl p click on object now press shift a and add a human rig from the armature now place this rig on the surface and select this robot and scale it down we have scale it down because we are creating a robot that is basically smaller than a person now i just deleted the human rig we don't need select the rim and then the tire press ctrl p and click on object Object. now we can when we rotate the tire the rim also moves with with the tire okay now i'm done for this video i'll complete the rest of the things in part two and if you want to see the vlog that i've created in hindi language with this robot and vfx then you have to click on this left video and if you want to see the second part of this video then click on the right video create your own robot post it and tag me on my instagram bye